hope you're all well. We are going to be doing my 100th book of the year vlog and I have decided from the thumbnail and the title of the video that I am going to read The Fourth Wing for this uh, by Rebecca Yaros. I have actually already completed this video at the time I filmed this intro. I decided I wanted to come back around initially. This wasn't going to be my 100th book of the year book pick but just because of how kind of slow my reading's been going that's how it's ended up falling so that's what we're going to be reading and i am really excited i'm hoping that this vlog comes out okay it's not very often i do dedicated reading vlogs for certain books um because i'm always on the fence about whether or not to spoil the books and whether to do like spoilers and things like that i have in this video at a certain point decided to start doing some spoilers for you so in order for complete transparency so that you can go into this video knowing exactly how it's going to work the majority of the video is spoiler free and then at a certain point it changes i do let you know pretty much in advance that this is going to happen and any spoilers will have a border around the spoiler section i will put a border around this section now uh, to show you exactly what that's going to look like but it will have a border around it usually what i do i usually do these for um the b-roll sections in my videos but yeah i'm going to put a border around it so that if you don't want to see the spoilers you can skip through the video and see when the border stops and then kick back in again and then again i always let you know in advance rather than just going straight in with the spoiler i let you know in advance i'm going to spoil so um yeah i hope you enjoy this video as much as i enjoyed kind of making it and i hope it turns out okay in the end i'm a little bit anxious to edit the video because this took i think this took like two or three weeks to film um that's how slow my reading has been in the month of june so i hope you do enjoy this video this book does follow 20 year old violet um who is a she's trying to become part of the scribe quadrant however her mother ends up pushing her to become a dragon rider she ends up going to the dragon rider school and she is kind of deemed a weak link because she has quite brittle bones she's got quite a weak body she's deemed a weak link and there is i mean there's no guarantee anybody's going to survive the rider's quadrant to be perfectly honest but there there's pretty slim chance that she's going to do it um however she ends up bumping into a guy at the rider's quadrant called zayden ryerson who has a bit of a vendetta against her and her mother there's something happened in the past between their families and zayden wants vi dead and uh, yeah it just kind of goes from there and i don't want to say too much about how i feel about this book but if the jumper isn't a giveaway, I don't know what is. Uh, I will leave a link to the shop where I got this jumper in the description box down below if you're interested in going getting one. This is not a sponsorship. I did buy this jumper myself. I absolutely love it. But yeah, this is a fantasy romance with dragons in it and it's chef's kiss. I don't know what else to tell you. I did, it, the other reason why it took me so long is because I did tab and annotate the book as well. I do show you a couple of my annotations throughout this video, so uh, keep your eyes open for those, mostly during the spoilery bits because they, they're they spoilers. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Now let's get into past me going through this process. Okay, hello. I apologise for the noise of the traffic, if you can hear it. I'm currently at Andy's and we've got the window open because it's boiling. Um, he's just on his way home from work. But I don't think I've given you an update yet on Fourth Wing since I started it. And I am currently this far in. So I am on page 178 and I am loving this book. This is so good. Violet is fantastic and I absolutely adore her. So Violet has very brittle bones. She has quite a weak body and she's quite small. Um, and her mother has forced her, she wanted to be a scribe, her mother's forced her to go into the, um, I don't want to say army, I don't know if it's classified as an army, but to become a rider. Now she doesn't have the body or the capacity or anything to be a rider, she has been trained to be a scribe all, her, all, all of her life and that's all she's ever wanted to be. Mira, her sister, is also a rider and her brother was also a rider as well. 
so her mother's forcing her to go in um as a rider and she kind of she's pissed about it but she takes this on the chin and she gives it her absolute all and i am obsessed her best friend is there and he keeps trying to get her to quit and although i love how worried he is about her he's frustrating the life out of me because of the lack of belief in her and it's really pissing me off <laughs> i'm gonna be honest um, and then there is quite a few people there that would like to kill her because of some political stuff that happened in the past um zayden being one of them and uh so far his uh, his the way he's been with her is quite suspicious i am intrigued um there are kind of two options as far as like a romantic relationship are concerned in this and i do have a favorite so far um but we have just so there's lots of challenges for her to go through she's made a friend rhiannon who i really really enjoy her character too and i love the way she supports v with everything so she's such a fantastic friend and i love her um but we've just gotten to the point where she's gone through loads and loads of different trials and stuff to kind of um it eliminates the weakest out of everybody and so far she's doing fantastic but we've just had the dragon selection so the dragon chooses the rider we've just had the dragon selection i've just got to the end of that chapter if you know you know but i got literal chills from reading the back like the, the end of that chapter the last few lines i am obsessed this book is so good i love it i love the writing style it sucked me in straight away to the point that i am um i am actually annotating the book these these tabs that i'm using are very very light so we've got like a really light pink and then like a sandy color gray a darker gray and then like an almost black color they're really light but i thought they went with the book really nicely so i decided to use those um rather than my usual very very brightly colored ones but yeah i'm loving this book so far it's so fucking good and i am having a great time i am hoping that i will update you a little bit more as i continue on with it but i obviously don't want to spoil anything either but i'm absolutely obsessed and if this becomes a series i would not be mad about it in the slightest but i'm having a fantastic time and hoping to update you more on it for the rest of the week i think since i started this i started this on it was thursday last week so a week ago today is the following thursday um and that's i've not made a decent considering i got to like a page 114 thursday last week haven't made a great deal of progress but i did mean to update you at that point and then just completely forgot because it was the f1 readathon and i've had such a busy weekend and then this week has kind of taken off as being busy as well so haven't had a great deal of time to update you but i thought i would come on now as i've just gotten to the end of that chapter and it was like a really vital part i am shooketh and i'm so intrigued to see where this goes so i'm having a fantastic time and I thought it was time I came and updated you. So that's the update so far. 178 pages in. Absolutely loving it. I would say five stars for now. There's nothing I haven't liked so far. So having a great time. Very intrigued. Loving the atmosphere, the writing, the characters. Just love it. Absolutely obsessed. So yeah, I'm going to go out now when andy gets back we're going to take my nan out for some food um and then hopefully maybe i can read a bit more this evening fingers crossed um but yeah i shall check it back in with you and i've got another update for you okay so i'm another 60 pages on in fourth wing it's really hard to do this vlog without spoiling this book i'm not gonna lie um but i am still loving this i'm having a great time with it i am getting more and more frustrated with vi's best friend because um he just cannot seem to understand that no matter what she has to keep doing what she's doing and he really wants her to get out now don't get me wrong i understand it's coming from a place of love he doesn't want her to die i understand that however i'm getting more and more frustrated with his lack of faith in her in that she's that she can do this um his lack of faith in her abilities i get it she's got a condition that means she's got brittle bones and she's a lot weaker than the rest of the of the uh, of the riders pilots riders uh but she so far 
has been fantastic and she's nailed every single trial um she has bonded and now he's still doubting her and it's pissing me the fuck off i'm not gonna lie he's driving me insane um since the point at which i told you that she has bonded i'm not going to tell you who she's bonded with but since the point i made a prediction by the way who about who she was going to bond with and i was correct in that so since the point that she's bonded some kids have tried to kill her um because the ones that didn't bond they then feel like that if they can so if then a rider dies between the process of bonding and then actually going out to fighting because they ne then need to train on their dragon if a rider then dies that dra that ra that dragon oh my god that dragon can then bond with someone else so obviously the unbonded will then become very um brutal in their attempts to try to kill other riders so they can have their dragon however because of the dragon without saying too much because of the dragon that Vyas ended up with they she has now has a huge target on her back she already had one for being the weakest link uh, but she now has a huge target on her back and something has happened that then means uh that she has a connection to another rider and i am loving and this situation between these two characters i don't want to say who it is you can probably predict but i don't want to say who my battery died i am loving the connection between these two riders and i'm very excited to see where this goes i still don't know if fourth wing is going to be a series or if it's a standalone i'm not 100 percent sure but i would not mind seeing more from this i've still not finished it obviously <laughs> but I still wouldn't mind seeing more from this. I have been tabbing it up and it's been taking me some time to get through the book. I would have finished this by now normally, but because I've been tabbing it up, I'm following along with the book. So normally I would potter around, tidy the house, sort out my washing, do some planning for youtube and instagram etc but i just i cannot do that while i'm tabbing up so it's taken me a while to get through the book i had a cracking migraine last night and ended up in bed at 6 p.m i didn't eat anything other than a sandwich at one o'clock i didn't eat anything the whole day and i felt very very sick when i got into bed so i slept last night from i think i had a nap till about seven half seven then i woke up i tried to come back downstairs and it wasn't working out for me so i got back in bed about eight o'clock and then i slept through till i woke up about four o'clock this morning which has been happening happening a lot recently woke up about four o'clock this morning got up went for a wee had some water got back in bed and went back to sleep till about nine o'clock and then got up <laughs> got up came downstairs to eat something so that i could take some tablets because i still had a cracking headache and um watched a youtube video and then decided to go and get back in bed about quarter to ten and then slept till about half 12 i think so i've had a lot of sleep over the last 24 hours which normally i don't do i'm usually running on about three or four hours of sleep a day so i've had a, a lot of sleep this usually happens this happens quite often where i every couple of months i become really really run down and usually it's a cold but I, I become incredibly run down and end up sleeping for like almost a whole day and then get back to my usual sleep cycle of three to four hours a night if i'm lucky so i apparently this time it's been a migraine i haven't had a migraine in ages because my migraine triggers are usually a lack of daylight which i've been getting so much of recently because the weather's been glorious um and a lack of water i have been very dehydrated i will tell you that so yeah i haven't been able to read anything today i wasn't able to read anything i read a little bit yesterday but not too much because the headache started kicking in the migraine started kicking in it today it's just continued on into a headache i had some uh neurofen earlier on after i'd eaten something this morning because i get very very sick if i take um pain relief without having eaten something some people are fine but i get really really poorly if i'm not careful so which is why i didn't take any last night before i went to bed i just put cool and soothe patch on my head um but yeah i thought i would just because it's happened within this vlog i thought i would update you during that process 
I am hoping that maybe this week I can make more progress in this and hopefully finish it. I have a really busy week coming up. Um, today is Saturday, the, just to give you a timestamp, the 3rd of June. Um, and I am going to be going to Andy's about 5 o'clock when, he fin when he's finished watching the football. I didn't want to go any early because I don't want to go and watch the football. So I'm going to his about 5 o'clock. We're going to have a quiet night in and watch a movie and have a picky tea. And then tomorrow we're supposed to be going to a car show. It's going to be glorious weather. We're going to go to a car show with my brother and sister-in-law and Thomas and a couple of friends of ours as well, Nathan and Amy. We'll go and get some lunch and then probably have like a chilled evening. I do have the Spider-Man No Way Home watch along with my patrons tomorrow evening. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to be at Andy's for it. So, um, and then... Monday I'm looking after Thomas my magic Monday sprints are being pushed to the evening and on Tuesday I need to get this house sorted for Jade coming on Thursday Wednesday I'm working I am debating it makes no sense though because I'm staying at Andy's on the Tuesday night I was going to say I'm debating taking the Wednesday off work so that I can t tidy up the house then as well but the other thing I could do is take the Wednesday off and then do some filming at Andy's because I do need to catch up with some filming. I also could do, maybe I could take the Wednesday off and just finish this um, at his. So maybe I might do that. I might take the Wednesday off and do that. Uh, and then Jade comes Thursday right through till Monday. So I've got a really busy week coming up. I'm a little bit stressed, which again could be another reason why I've ended up poorly. Um, so I need to calm down. <laughs> just gotta calm down that's it um so yeah i just wanted to come on and give you an update on that book uh i've ended up giving you an update a life-ish update as well which is fine um but i am enjoying myself i'm having a cracking time i wish i could tell you more but i don't want to spoil the book because it is so new i don't want to spoil it i don't want to give spoilers for anyone but I am pissed at her ex, at her ex-boyfriend. She doesn't have an ex-boyfriend. I'm pissed at her best friend. I am loving her new bestie, Rhiannon. Love her. She's fantastic. Love Vi's attitude in general. She is awesome. And despite everything that she's got going on in her life and being deemed the weakest link, she has such a great attitude and personality. And I adore her. There is not a single thing that I hate about her. Um, and love the relationship that's currently brewing as well and the whole dragon thing as well her dragon is so sassy and i love the relationship they have outstanding i am obsessed um i think it's great i love it i just love it i love this book i predict five stars so that's all i have to say that is it <laughs> okay hello um, I'm here to give a few updates. I am a ways into this now. I am actually 240 pages into this, but I want to go back and chat with you a little bit about some of the things that have happened in this in a spoilery sense. So I wasn't going to do this as a spoilery vlog to start off with, but there's too much I want to chat with you about. And also, um, this vlog has kind of changed from just being my fourth wing vlog to being my hundredth book of the year. So I thought I would just add the extra content in of giving a few spoilers. So for, I'm going to go back and chat about some of the things that have happened in here. And then from this point on, I will do spoilery content as well. Uh, so there should be a border around this section to divulge that there's spoilers coming up so so that if you want to skip it you can do uh so the first thing i want to chat about first of all zayden is suspicious and i is is suspicious to me he's not suspicious in general um and i'm not convinced he wants to kill vi i'm not sure what else his other ploy is but i'm not convinced he wants to kill vi so all of the stuff that's going on with that that's my thought process on that. The next thing is that around page 97, Professor Kaori is chatting about a specific kind of dragon, which is the black dragon. And he's basically going on about how this is like one of the strongest dragons around. And um, his previous rider actually died and he hasn't um, bonded with anyone since. So I made a prediction... I predict the Black Dragon is going to bond with Vi. So I made that prediction on page 97. And if we move forward then to page 167, she is going through the whole, you know, 
dragons picking their riders exercise and stuff and she's trying to protect this golden dragon who's just like a really tiny baby dragon almost um and she's trying to protect the dragon because jack and some of his followers are trying to kill the dragon which it's not you're not allowed to do um so she's trying to protect the dragon and then the black dragon comes along and he's very concerned about vi the other guys have now fucked off um but right here oh shit he's choosing me called it um so i was really happy about that very proud of myself for calling that one i assume the majority of people called that one to be honest but what i didn't call was the fact that she ended up with both the black dragon and the golden dragon so now she's bonded to two dragons and i am buzzing about this fact for her because i am like yay both dragons all hell breaks loose. <laughs> I actually got chills from that as well. I wrote down A. This gave me little chills. I love this for Violet. What a legend. Um, so yeah, really, really happy about that. Love the bond that she has with the Black Dragon. I am so excited that she um, has this dragon, Taran. And um, I just think he's super sassy as well. He goes on about uh, someone being a puny god and I literally make a comment about, all right, Hulk, because it just reminded me of the Hulk in Marvel when he was slapping Loki around. Um, so yeah, I loved that one. The whole relationship between Dane and Violet as well. I was here for this and I was, um, you know, shipping it and everything. And I loved that they were such best friends and... Uh, they absolutely adore each other so as much as they do uh but what bothers me about dane is the way he babies her and he does just doesn't seem to be able to i know he's trying to protect her but he just doesn't seem to be able to see past the fact that she can do this and believe in her and it really really gets on my rag um and he's dry humping my last nerve i'm not gonna lie but they had a whole moment where he kissed her and uh it was everything that i've ever wanted except shit i don't want it anymore and i was like ah oh, bloody hell at this point i have already started shipping zayden and vi i'm not gonna lie and i'm kind of hoping that's where it goes i think it will um but yeah that is where i'm up to and she's now just admitted page 241 that she wants zayden so 240 sorry she wants zayden so I am so excited about that fact. Um, but those were just a couple of the spoilery things that I had going on with that. Still not sure what Zayden's ploy is with Vi and why he wouldn't necessarily want her dead. He keeps pushing it back. Uh, now he can't because he, she's uh, bonded with Terran. Turns out Terran is the bonded dragon. His, he's bonded with Zayden's dragon. Um, so it kind of means now that Zayden and Vi are a little bit bonded too. So that's interesting. And now he can't kill her even if he wanted to. But I don't know why he was fucking around with it so much at the beginning of the book. Because he had ample opportunity to do so. But he didn't. So I'm not sure what his ploy was there. But I'm intrigued to find out. And I'm excited to get back into this one and finish this off. So I'm going to do that now. We'll keep you updated with both non-spoilery and spoilery thoughts. But still loving this book very, very much and i'm excited to get it read um and get through it so i'm gonna go and do that right now and continue annotating and giving you my full thoughts on this i'm having a great time okay we're gonna ignore the state of me uh it's it's too hot for me to care right now so we just had our first proper kissing scene and i'm so excited i literally like three four pages before put This slow burn is killing me. And then not two pages later. Yes. Um, such a happy barrow right now. That was great. Absolutely loved that. That was so good. And I'm very excited for more of that. Um, his reaction to it, I'm not going to say who, but his reaction to it as well though and like the reasoning for why he did what he did, hats off to him um, and I support that. So good for them. I'm very, very happy. It's taken, well, it's taken 278 pages, but it feels like it's taken such a long time. Loving the slow burn, 
but I just kind of want them to get it on now. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, just wanted to come on, give you that thought. Loving this book. Obsessed. Obsessed. Okay, hello. Oh, you might be a little bit wonky, sorry. It's been a hot minute since I've updated you on Fourth Wing. Um, but I am here to give you a little update. I am now on page 363. I'm hoping to finish this today. It's been probably around two or three weeks since I started reading this and I really want to get it finished. Um, so I'm still loving it, still having an absolute blast. Um, we've had them go on their first break and all of the stuff that's happened there which i will chat about in a minute with some spoilers and now we've just had them do like a first i don't know if it's classified as like a practice mission or something um but we've just had that happen as well and uh ended on a right bit of a cliffhanger on a chapter so i really need to go and get some food so i thought i would just break there but i didn't realize the cliffhanger was going to happen there so i want to be quick getting some food I am trying to do myself some 50-10 Pomodoro sprints on the TV to try and help keep myself concentrated because my concentration has been horrific recently and I it's not the books that I'm reading, it's me. I don't want to read. I don't know if it's the heat, if I'm in a bit of a slump. I don't know what's wrong with me. So, um, I don't know. I think if I'm keeping busy... Yesterday I was reading, oh you're sat on it, Her Majesty's Royal Coven by Juno Dawson most of the day and I have, I don't know, maybe 150 pages left of it and it's because I was packing orders that I was able to stay so concentrated. So with this, I think my issue has been that it's been so warm, I haven't wanted to read, even though I'm loving this, I haven't fully wanted to read and because I've been tabbing it and annotating it, it's been a struggle for me to get through and that's why it's been taking so long because I am annotating and tabbing. So yeah, all of that I think has just kind of come together. I always get like this at this time of year for a couple of months. I get really, really slow with my reading and I'm just not enjoying myself as much. And I think it's probably because I do the 30 books in 30 days and maybe what I should do is try and shift that to later on in the year um maybe around like september i just don't want to then ruin like october which is like spooky season and then december which for me is like christmas season so i and i like reading seasonal books so i don't know we'll see but maybe i should shift that to later on in the year in future um just to stop this from happening because I do blame it on the 30 books in 30 days. Maybe that's not the case. Maybe it's just because I slump hard around this time of year because it is warmer and um, I just find it harder to concentrate. The last thing I want to be doing is sitting down for ages and I end reading, you know? Uh, so yeah, which is weird because I can do it on holiday, but maybe it's because I'm beside a pool, etc. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's where I'm up to with this. So a couple of things that have happened border around for spoilers upcoming spoilers so if you don't want to hear this um just scroll through until the border goes off because i'm i only do the border on the spoilery bits um so a couple things that have happened since because it has been a while since i updated you um let me just find where i was up to i can't remember whether or not i mentioned about them two kissing uh so there was this, i think i did because i think i remember saying about the fact that I made a note, this slow burn is killing me, and then literally the next page, it happened. Um, so, I think I mentioned that, but then, where was I up to? Where did I start, say, chapter 25? So, things that have happened today, uh, they nicked the map out of uh, Violet's mum's office, which was cool. Uh, so, that was awesome, and then the whole flirtatious bit between her and Zayden after that, amazing um and then she they got the break and she ended up running into her sister mira which is great news because i'm so happy for her they basically are not allowed to have contact with their family i think in the first year and i'm just really happy for her that she's been able to see mira mira now knows that she's alive and she's doing well and i love the way mira speaks to her she doesn't speak down to her she doesn't speak to her like she needs baby and a bit like dane does and i think he's getting better thank god um 
but I, I just love the interaction between Vi and Mira. I love that. And then Griffins were coming, so they had to bail. And Zayden managed to get her out. They can now talk with the mind thing, like she has with Ten and Andana, which are the two dragons that she has, and Zayden has with uh, Sigail. I think that's the name of his dragon. Um, so now Zayden and Vi can speak via their minds as well. Zayden started it off first and it was very flirtatious and I just fucking love it. I love their interactions. I love everything about it. And now Zayden has had a, a seat made for the back of 10 for Vi, which I just adore. And I, I really, truly love him. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I love him. I love him. I love that their their interactions. I love the way they speak to each other. I love everything. And I love the way Ten speaks to Vi as well. Just adorable. Um, I just there was an interaction here. Yes, yeah, so she's having a discussion with Zayden about this um new seat that he's had made for her for Ten. And uh, she gets like a really feisty look. She must get a really feisty look on her face, and he mind speaks to her fuck that stubborn feisty look always makes me want to kiss you and i just wrote sir in huge capital letters not capital yeah capital letters um yeah their interactions everything i just love them and i want them to be together and then the cliffhanger we've just had at the end of the chapter was that jack just tried killing liam um and Vi used the time stopping thing because she can stop time with Andana and she used the time stopping thing to catch Liam to try and save him and then just kill Jack with lightning and at the end Ten roars with the unmistakable sound of pride lightning wielder oh my god um, amazing she's Thor awesome love it <laughs> having a great time i'm so excited that she's now coming to her power which is so good for her and i'm really really happy for her so i'm so intrigued to get to the end of this today and find out how this is going to end i'm terrified because i know that this is going to be a series and i think it's going to be a reasonably long series as well and now i have to wait for the rest of the books <laughs> um but i'm just really hoping that rebecca yaris is on her shit and she releases them you know every year oh, i'm gonna be heartbroken if we have to wait any longer uh so yeah obsessed loving this having a great time i think the fairy loot edition of these books is released this week so i really need to keep my eye on my emails for that because i don't want to miss it i want to make sure that i get my fairy loot edition because i did end up missing the waterstones exclusive edition which um is devastating but yeah uh loving this so far having a great time i'm gonna go get something to eat so that i can continue reading this and i will let you know if i've got anything else to share with you oh my god chapter 30 it's like is it chapter 55 in a court of mist and fury <laughs> they did the deed um i'm so excited that was so good uh the whole don't fall for me though towards the end of that scene oh zayden i love that she's um holding out on him now though because she's like listen you can't tell me how to control my emotions um and at some point we're going to end up falling for each other so stop pretending like it's not going to happen uh, and therefore she's holding out on him so yay for that uh, but yeah, made some more progress now. I don't have too much longer left. I'm about to have another break on the 5010 Pomodoro. And I has... How much time do I have actually left? An hour and 30 minutes left. Um, so, yeah. I still plan on finishing it today. Um, so I'm going to carry on with this and I'll check back in with you when I've got another update for you.
What the fuck? What the fuck? How long do I have to wait for the next one? How long? Oh, fuck me. Well, I've done it. <laughs> I made it to the end. Uh, I'm not saying anything spoilerish about the end of this. Nothing spoilerish about the end of it because uh, that bit does not need spoilers. But genuine question: How long do I have to wait for the next one? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, this took quite the menacing turn and um, there was a portion, if you know, you know, where I was crying. I am not happy about that, I'm not going to lie. Uh, not happy in the slightest. I... Uh, oh, shit. Fuck. At this... Um, Oh, this might be my favourite book of the year. <laughs> what? What the fuck? What? <sighs> this is why I struggle continuing on with series, because unless the books are released, which ironically enough doesn't fucking matter whether they're released or not, I just could struggle continue reading series. But unless all of the books are out, I hate myself every single time for starting a new series. Oh my god. Uh, I loved this. I loved it. I loved it. There's not a single thing I didn't love about this. The writing style was fantastic. The characters, even the ones you hate, written so fucking well that you hate them so much um violet is my favorite character of the year if you've seen my uh mid-year freak out tag you will know that already but violet's my favorite character of the year i loved the relationships and friendships that were developed in here absolutely fantastic i loved the war and the politics that got weaved in the dragons outstanding the relationship between hugh like rider and dragon hilarious fantastic i loved it all i loved it all and i need more immediately i need it i need more immediately I haven't run it through core pile yet it's gonna get five stars regardless and i can guarantee this is probably going to be my favorite book of the year um i loved this i loved it i think one of the things i loved the most about it without getting into spoilers is that two of the characters once you read the book you will understand or if you've been watching the spoilers you might understand who um the way they communicate with each other is so beautiful they're so honest with each other and so raw with apart from one of them for reasons but they're so outside of that they're so honest with each other and so raw with each other that i just love it i love it um i just this was fantastic i amazing amazing i've just had the best time reading this and I am so fucking pissed at one of the other characters. And uh, I am... Oh, I'm fuming with him. Fuming. Fuming. I can't wait for the next book. Is there by any chance a next book ready to go? Like, not yet, obviously. But it, it, do we perchance get it earlier? <laughs> Please? Rebecca? Let's have a quick look. I need more immediately. Oh, the next one's called Iron Flame. 
<laughs> November. Oh yeah, boy. Um, November 7th. Does this mean that we're getting these a bit quicker? Oh yeah. Buddy. How long is the series going to be? Oh, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, this only came out in May. So she's doing them like every six months or so. Nice. Uh, does this say how long? <laughs> Scroll. Does this say how long this is going to be? Doesn't say. Um, I, I, I'm still a little bit speechless. I don't know what to tell you. I fucking love this book. Outstanding. Amazing. Fantastic. Elite. Superb. Favourite book of the year. I've got nothing else to tell you. I'm not sure. Um, what else to say? I'm bloody shattered now. That took a lot of emotion out of me. <laughs> uh, I kind of wish I'd read this in like a day or a couple of days rather than it taking me a few weeks. A book phenomenal. It wasn't the book, it was me. I loved this. Incredible. So happy. Uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I haven't watched any of it since I started filming. I've just properly got really, really warm and overheated. Um, I haven't watched any of it since I started filming, so I hope that this video has turned out alright. I hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know if you'd want me to do something similar to this again in the future, where I just pick, like, one book um, and read that. But, yeah, my 100th book of the year. My favourite book of the year. Um, amazing. Very proud to have picked my favourite book of the year as my 100th book of the year. But I couldn't do that again if I tried. Um, so yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Chat to me in the comments down below. Have you read Fourth Wing yet? Did you enjoy this style of video? And I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.